Hello and welcome to Gamesplaining, the online show where I tell you about highlights in gaming from the last week, whether you already know them or not. The Xbox and Bethesda Showcase, the response to Sony's State of Play, recently streamed. You can find a rundown of both those events on my channel, by the way. Suffice to say, there's a lot of exciting games coming for all different style of gamers, and certainly more games than I'll be able to review in the next year. And yes, that is my YouTube plug. Sonic's adventure sounds to be continuing. Sonic Frontiers has been speculated, though with no confirmation, as the last Sonic game. But in a recent interview, Sonic team head Tazaki Lazuka expressed an interest in using what they learned from the development of Frontiers to start a new entry in the Blue Hedgehog's journey. Whether or not the studio agrees, I can't imagine Sonic staying away from our screens for very long. So I'm sure it's just a matter of time before he's back, maybe even with ray tracing. Minecraft's latest spin-off will be Minecraft Legends, an action strategy game due out next year. Visually it may look similar, certainly in design to the original Minecraft, but it promises to be a very different game, and assuming it is an action strategy game, I don't doubt that. Whilst I'm part of the 1% of gamers who've never played Minecraft, and no that's not a brag, I'm genuinely worried I'll become addicted if I start, I'll be keeping an eye on this one and I'll let you know once it hits the shelves. Do people still say shelves? Something I missed in last week's State of Play coverage, yes that's a second plug in one video, The Last of Us is getting re-released for next generation consoles, because somehow enough time has passed to make that game old. Now that's exactly how I feel. Time really is a heartless bit. There are over 40 new games coming to Xbox's Game Pass in the next 12 months, leaving out only 10 of the 50 games announced to be coming to Xbox in the same time period. Game Pass is starting to feel like what Netflix used to be. Hopefully it continues to grow instead of every gaming company pulling back in their products and games and starting their own streaming services. Ah, oh, it's happening, isn't it? And finally, if you're not into paying for your games, this week there are some freebies available. On Steam, you can pick up Ninja Stealth, while Amazon Prime, through Prime Gaming, is offering Far Cry 4, Escape from Monkey Island, Astralagasca, Calico, Across the Grooves, and WRC8 FIA World Rally Championship. Not to be beat. Meanwhile, Epic Games is offering Maneater, because realistically, sharks aren't misrepresented enough in modern media. Camera, I'd like some focus please, you know, just any, any time you're ready. Thank you.